My name's Tim Strickland. I'm with Strickland's Archery, and I'm going to talk to you about the Helix single bevel broadhead. Even though the Helix looks extremely uh, simple, it uh, actually does exactly what you want a broadhead to do. The unique part of the Helix actually has to do, of course, with the single bevel. And then along with the single bevel is we actually have the point that's smaller and then it wings out. Now this winging out, of course, uh, you definitely know that that's uh, the widest part, so that's going to be the cut. And then also what this wing does is it actually helps you gain lift with the, with the head. So what it's going to do, this being a right bevel, is this is going to turn in this direction. Okay, when that, when that turns through the air, it actually gains lift. So what you have is you have a broadhead that's going to help the steerage from the front of the arrow, just like the fletch helps the steerage from the back of the arrow. Okay, then actually when, when the head, when the point hits, when it hits flesh, it continues to turn. Okay, where mo most heads, if you have a regular flat bladed head, when it hits, what it does is it stops the arrow from turning. Okay, so that's where a lot of lost penetration comes from, where the helix, because it continues to turn, it actually does two things. It helps the penetration and then also it helps keep the wound channel open so naturally you have better blood loss and of course if it hits a bone and this is what a lot of people because we don't all make perfect hits so if it hits a bone because it's rotating it'll actually split that bone so it actually splits the bone open and that's one of the things that the single bevel broadhead is is noted for now with the helix you also have a 40 degree bevel where a lot of uh, the single bevels are less than that 25 to 30 degrees so the reason we went to 40 two things one thing to help the strength of the point uh, the other thing was that with 40 degrees as you can see looking at it forward it actually makes this head turn and turn more consistent and turn in more revolutions than what a lesser degree would. So when you're looking for a head that that's, has a simplicity that you need, a simplicity in that it's going to do exactly what you want it to do. Flight characteristics are great. When it hits it rotates so you get better penetration. You get a better wound channel, which is a better blood loss. So consequently, you have a broadhead that does exactly what a broadhead is supposed to do.